G player she is with Clark Stewart and Langhorn. The Dream will counter with their normal starting five. Lasia Clarendon back in there tonight at the point with Brittany Sykes, Tiffany Hayes, Sancho Little, and Elizabeth Williams. So the Dream tried to win a ball game, and they came so close in Dallas over the weekend. Center of the ring, and here we go. Opening tip from Atlanta, and great to have you with us for Dream Basketball. Tiffany Hayes with the lead pass to Elizabeth Williams for the lay-in. So right away, the Dream get a fast break opportunity. Now Seattle, overall 14 and 16. And the rebound after the Clark miss by Elizabeth. Williams, number 11 in the league in rebounding at just over seven a game. Clarendon runs it up and off. Trying to break out of the shooting doldrums. Malaysia did so well for so long, we took her performance for granted, but had a serious illness that limited her, her play, and she's just now feeling good again. Tiffany Hayes. Now to Clarendon. These clubs met in the playoffs last year, and interestingly enough, it was on this floor. The Dream couldn't get into Phillips Arena that particular day, and Seattle came here, and the Dream won that playoff game. Tiffany Hayes connects 4 0. It's a good sign for the Atlanta Dream scoring on their first two opportunities tonight. They definitely came out to play. Sue Bird getting it inside. Sure shot inside Langhorn. Now Clark has it. Back to Langhorn. Fires it up and in. Boy, what a year she is having. Her 10th in the league. A nice drive by Tiffany Hayes. And that's an example, Tap, of running after a made field goal. Absolutely. Atlanta likes to run the floor. And Seattle, if they're going to win this game, they've got to stop Atlanta's transition game. Sue Bird off the high screen. Here is Stewart driving and with the left hand. Nicely lays it in. You mentioned her scoring. One of the most decorated amateur basketball players in USA history, male or female, and uh, having a sensational second year in the pros. Hayes. Now Brittany Sykes takes a peek. Drives on Clark, kicks to the corner, and Sancho. Little puts it down. If you notice, Bob, Atlanta has been running a lot of pick and screens and passing off of those, trying to get each other open. I like what they're doing because they've scored on all three of their shots so far. Sue Bird misses the three. And Atlanta looking to push. Sykes just couldn't handle that lead pass in transition. It remains an 8-4 game. Well, Sykes has shown her teammates that she has great leaping ability. She would usually get that pass, but I guess she couldn't get that one this time. Stewart defended by Sancho. Sue Bird up and in. We'll be keeping a watch on Sue's assist tonight. She began the evening 12 away from becoming the all-time WNBA leader in career assists. Teacher Penachero will hold that distinction for at least uh, a few more hours, if not the next game. Inside to Elizabeth. Nicely done off the glass. I love Atlanta's energy here at the start of the game. It's do or die tonight. If they lose, there goes playoff chances. Jewel Lloyd putting it up and in. 10-8 Atlanta. Lasia trying to get around not only Sancho, but, but uh, Brianna Stewart. Off the turnover, Sue Bird corrals it to the trailing Clark. The Storm giving Atlanta a little bit of their own medicine on the running game right there. Tied at 10. All five Seattle starters have now scored. Elizabeth, a lot of contact and no whistle and she got it to go. I mean, Atlanta is just playing so aggressive right now. It's a do-or-die situation, and you can tell they're playing like it, like it's their last chance at the playoffs right now. Crystal Langhorn to Stewart, and that's intercepted by Sancho Little. That will be a tough take for Stewart. 
Sancho, the veteran and an outstanding defender. Sykes couldn't finish. Sue Bird picked up in transition. Now they give to Stewart. She'll roll to the hole, put it in, and a blocking foul. And on the cross switch, that time Sancho Little ended up on the opposite side of the floor, and the Storm did a great job to find Brianna Stewart. I think Lasia Clarendon stepped in, and she thought about taking that charge. She just didn't fall over, and it looks like she's beating herself up just a little bit about it. Brianna Stewart is also on the threshold of a franchise record tonight. She has 20, 20 or more scoring games. And if she can get 20 tonight or the next time she gets it this season, that will break Lauren Jackson's record. They are currently tied with 20. 13-12, Seattle. Sykes, just a hair long with that three-pointer. Jewel Lloyd to the corner and Clark. Short clock for Langhorn. Moves in and flicks it home, shooting 67% from the field. Just a really good shot by Langhorn because it was really good defense by Sancho Little. Langhorn was nine for nine against the Dream out in Seattle in the second of the two games out of the Pacific Northwest. Clarendon off the window and good. Asia Clarendon pulls Atlanta within one. She's back. Guess she's feeling better after all. 15-14 Seattle. Jewel Lloyd. Third year out of Notre Dame. It's a star-studded starting lineup for Seattle, no doubt. Stewart, though, off the mark this time. Now backpedaling as Atlanta comes at them with Clarendon. Tiffany Hayes. Now back it comes to Sancho. Good fight for the rebound and a terrific save by Elizabeth Williams. And uh, a clock malfunction as the shot clock in the W needs to go to 14 on a miss. And now it's been reset to 12. Eric Kloppenberg, the acting interim head coach, seated there on the Seattle bench. Elizabeth Williams was able to retrieve that. The ball was deflected, so no backcourt possibility. Rebound, Stewart. Jewel Lloyd splits two defenders, got it back, and drops oh. it in. <laughs> Tenth in the league at scoring at 17.2. Elizabeth rolls it home. Boy, what a first quarter Elizabeth Williams is putting together. That's eight points. Bob, the look on the, the faces of the Atlanta Dream, you can just sense a difference in their energy right now. They are hungry for this win. Langhorn. Rebound. Taken care of by Clarendon. Malaysia works it down. Only one personal foul has been called in this first quarter, and it is flying by. Here is Sykes. Intended for Hayes, intercepted by Lloyd. Sue Bird plants for a three and nails it. Sue Bird, 36 years young in her 16th WNBA season. Sykes brings it up, and Atlanta will take a timeout. 2.08 to play. First quarter here at McCamish. Brianna Stewart, the third leading scorer in the league. Elizabeth Williams with eight points for Atlanta. And the you limit her post touches. Well, she says, I'm just going to flash to the outside and drive in on you. Tiffany Hayes, as 
the clock ticks under two minutes. Out of the corner, double team. Dream move it inside, and they lay it for Sancho. It's probably some of the best ball movement I've seen Atlanta have all year long. And good to get the veteran Sancho a little involved offensively. Jewel Lloyd missing the three. Rebound punched out of bounds. And it will be Atlanta ball. Mati Ajavon and Bria Holmes will come into the game for Atlanta. Clarendon and Sykes exit. Cooper is definitely looking to bring in some energy when he brings in Holmes and Ajavon because they push the ball up the floor. He's also giving Clarendon and Sykes a break right now because they're a little bit winded. Alexis Peterson has come in for Seattle. Takashki has also checked in on the post. Nice pass. Holmes Assist finding Little. Six for Sancho. That ties the game at 20. Defense. Shot clock at 10. Lloyd. Looking to drive, goes off the bump of Sancho Little and puts it in. Boy, what a shot. At the other end, Tiffany Hayes is fouled. Sammy Whitcomb with the personal. But I love the fact the dream of running after Seattle makes. They didn't sulk after the made basket down there. Tiffany Hayes got out and ran the floor. Cherry picked just a little bit. And hopefully she could have gotten that and one, but you know what? She couldn't finish, but she's at the line shooting two shots. Fifth point for Tiffany. Kalina Mosqueda Lewis is in now for Seattle, and Lloyd will go out. The numbers of all-star Tiffany Hayes at 22 in Dallas, played 36 minutes after having to take a game off with that rib contusion. Suffered on this floor against New York when she was slammed into the basket support. Oh, no foul was called on that play, by the way. Whitcomb lets it go in and out. Seattle offensive stick back by Langhorn. Crystal Langhorn. Averaging 12.3 per game. Ajavon. On the pass through the contact. Storm foul over the limit. Two, Peterson, first. Peterson's first foul. Seattle's over the limit. So one plus the penalty Put for Matias Javon. Javon. Started the game in favor of Clarendon when Lazier was struggling with the illness and not shooting the ball well. And Ajavon has played well over these last couple of weeks. She definitely comes and brings the Atlanta Dream some energy, especially with them wanting to run the ball and get those transition baskets, Matee is definitely the point guard they need to do that with. And you know what, she's also a veteran. She knows how to coordinate the offense and get players where they need to be on the floor. Stewart in for Langhorn. 24-23 Storm. Peterson, the rookie from Syracuse. Not on the floor right now with Brittany Sykes. 24-23. Peterson missed the three. Elizabeth, the rebound, and that brings That's it close to the first period. But great energy from Atlanta. The Dream getting eight points from Elizabeth Williams, six from Sancho Little, and six from Tiffany Hayes. First, wow, all this star power in one building. It's fantastic. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. What brings you to our fair city this time? Well, I'm actually here in Atlanta shooting a movie, so I'm getting my acting skills in right about now. Um, but um, I had to come out and see the Atlanta Let's Dream. Maybe you can bring them some luck. <laughs> yeah, well, I hear, you know, we're kind of in a vicarious spot needing a, a win, right? Four wins. If, if four in a row might <laughs> right. be great. But, Thank you know, you. it's a young team, and sometimes it's to be expected when you have uh, such a young team. And then, you know, with Angel McCaughtry sitting out this year, um, you know, the experience, you, you can't teach it no matter how athletic, how smart, 
with a young team, it's just about getting this experience. So this year is going to be a great year, I think, a great learning experience for the Dream. You sound like you should be on the sideline helping us <laughs> coach over here. Not that Coop needs it. Bob, did I tell you, I was a big fan backstage. I saw her passing by the locker room, and I literally ran inside and said, I'm sorry, Coop. Can I please say hi to Lisa Legend? <laughs> <laughs> Watching her grow up. And, you know, speaking of these young players, how has the league changed in your eyes since you retired and stopped playing? Well, to me, I, I think that players, player for player, are definitely so skilled, right? The ball handling skills are very much improved. Uh, the, ab the ability to score individually um, ha has really increased. And I think that when I was playing and when the league first began, there were a lot of players, but team-wise, team basketball was a little bit stronger because you had to rely on so many players in order to win, whereas I, I think they could take a little bit of that in terms of having the athletic ability and the skills, but learning how to really rely on your teammates because you have to make each other better, and that's the key. That's the difference when you look at the Minnesotas and the L.A. Sparks of the world, that you find a way to make each other better even though you're great individually. All right. Great point. Uh, was there any talk of Coop putting you in uniform tonight just to help <laughs> out? No, no talk of me in uniform, but we did talk a little bit about just the toughness, you know, and the leadership. When you have a young team, again, it's hard to really find vocal leaders that can really stand up and even put their own teammates in check. And that was something that we had, you know, in L.A. when I played or even on the USA team, whether it was Dawn Staley calling us to the side. You know, there's always got to be that leader, that vocal leader that's able to make sure everybody's accountable. And maybe those are some of the little pieces that Atlanta's missing right now. But again, when you're young and inexperienced, you learn that and they'll get that on, along the way. Lisa, I have to ask you about Brittany Sykes. I know you follow this league very closely, and we've yeah. been so taken aback by how well she has played since moving into the starting lineup really the first of, of June. What's your take on what you've seen from her? Well, she would definitely, you know, get my vote for a rookie of the year. I think she's done a really great job of coming to a new team and not really having, you know, played in the league. Her ability to score... You know, as we can see, she's almost right on cue. I thought she was going to shoot. You know, her ability to score and get to the basket. I mean, she really reminds me of a Mawadi Mabika or a Tamika Dixon or even a Nolan. I'm going way back with some players that really came in and had such great athletic ability, but also their ability to score one-on-one -on -one and get to the basket or even shoot the three ball and spread the floor. So she, I think there's a great upside to, to her game and, and for the Atlanta Dream. Lisa, you were the first in the WNBA to ever dunk. Now we have all these women players in the league dunking the ball, grabbing the attention of so many diverse fans. How does it feel to, to have led the way with that? I, I remember watching the video literally two weeks ago of it happening, and I was just in awe watching it. You know, for me, I always felt like I, I wasn't the, necessarily the beginner, but I, I was a torch carrier. I mean, there were so many great players that came before me, Ann Myers, and I mean, I can go on and on, Cheryl Miller. There's so many players that didn't get these opportunities. So when the WNBA began, it was just great timing for me. And I knew I had to seize that opportunity in every way, whether it was just even being in the community, being a role model to young girls and boys, and also as a player, giving it my all every day I got out there. So, you know, being the first to do a lot of things, I didn't even know once until I retired and then there was always someone breaking another record. I'm like, I didn't even know I had that record. But, um, you know, it, it's just really a blessing. I really tried to take full advantage of having that opportunity, signing autographs and stopping. Those are the things that I probably remember most, even beyond the accolades, was just the reward that it was to have the opportunity to be a role model. So I, I loved it. I'm so glad that there's so many players that are dunking now and have the ability to score and even breaking, uh, you know, all the records that I set. <laughs> well, Lisa, you've definitely been a role model, especially to me growing up and, and playing basketball and to so many other young women and fans of the WNBA and the NBA alike. So thank you for being that leader, and thank you so much for being here with us today. All right. Thanks for having me. Five on the shot clock. Out to Sancho, and she puts it in. Boy, the vet. You, your presence, Lisa, I think inspired Sancho tonight. Well, I hope that I can inspire all the ladies to get after him. You know, Coach Cooper and Coach Thompson have, I, mean, I, I was in the locker room. I heard the game plan, and if you execute it, you know, it always works out. It's, you know, in, in playing together. So I think the, the, the Dream's actually doing a great job of following the game plan thus far. We've, we've got a, we've got a, 
timeout coming in a minute. But Lisa, do you think Sue Bird will play till she's 50? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Birdie, uh, I, I think she's getting closer to, you know, at being one of the older players. And it's so funny because I remember telling her, you know, time goes so fast. I started out as one of the youngest when I was on the USA team, and then I became the, the, the oldest player. And so now it's her time, and it, it's really great. I mean, Super has given so much to the game as a leader, vocally, her ability to lead. And so you see Seattle's having great success because of her. She can play. I'd give her about four more years, one more Olympics, and then she'll be done. There you go. Lisa, thanks for coming by. Thanks Always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. Nice and we'll be back with more from Atlanta right after this. Certain teams, but tonight it seems like it's helping the Atlanta Dream with Sancho Little and Elizabeth Williams having 10 and 8 apiece. They're running the floor and getting these quick, easy baskets, and I think it's working out in their favor. And great to see Lasia Clarence. Oh! Bounce back here tonight. She's put together a special first half, 7.7 7 assists. She's got a chance in these last two weeks as Stewart is fouled on the drive. Lasia has a chance to set the WNBA record for assists in a season. Which she had to average 7.2 assists a game to get that record for the next four games. And right now she's on track. Six. Two free throws coming for Stewart. Amani Boyette just came in for the dream, committing her first foul. No. This is a rare back-to-back -back free throw misses by Stewart. Just a tick under 80% at the line. Now she's 0 for 3 at the strike. Two-point Seattle lead. Pull up for Sykes. First two tonight. Ties the game at 38. Storm's biggest lead, seven. Langhorn over the outstretched fingertips. Of Amani Boyette. And now Tony Dawkins is going to blow the whistle. And was there a violation for Atlanta on the throw in? Not sure what's happening. We're waiting to see. Poops out of his seat. Tree ball. Well, whatever the problem, it's going to be dream ball and a second off the 24-second clock. Misunderstanding. It's a do-over. <laughs> Clarendon. Boyette with the post up against Stewart. Ran out of real estate and turned it over. Good defensive. Effort there by Stewart. I think there was a bit of a miscommunication on the play between Clarendon and Boyette. Boyette wanted the clear out. Clarendon wanted the cut. Picked yeah. off by Little. On the push to Brittany Sykes. Trailing Tiffany Hayes. Into Boyette. Tries again. Short this time. Langhorn rebounds. And we've got an illegal oh, screen on foul. Stewart. Offensive foul, Seattle. Offensive fouls on Brianna Stewart. That's her first foul. You know, it's very interesting. Here you've got a Seattle yeah, team that's won uh, four in a row. Play. They come all the way here to play tonight. And then they head back to Seattle. Their next road game after that's in Washington. You would think that they would stay in the East <laughs> and play the Mystics, but no, it's all the way back out to Seattle. Elizabeth in tight quarters. Tips, Langhorn clears.
Malloy kicking it back. Langhorn looking. Contact, no whistle either way. And Langhorn scores. She's in double figures with 10. 42 38. They're doubling, or they almost doubled Elizabeth Williams down in the post. Two minutes. Malaysia. And a baseline pop for Elizabeth Williams. Another assist for Malaysia. Double figures now for the sixth time in seven games for Elizabeth Williams and 23 times this season. Super on the bounce. Stewart. Oh, the defensive backward isn't she got to lay in? Seattle by four. 125 to go before halftime. Sykes for three. In oh. and out. Following Tiffany Hayes and missed it. Great pass, though. Good eyes of Tiffany Hayes to see Brittany Sykes. Beautiful pick and roll, and Langhorn gets fouled. A timeout with 109 to play in this second quarter. The foul on Elizabeth Williams is her first. Langhorn and Seattle up four in Atlanta. Well, and has, as we mentioned, eight, so a chance for a little bit of history tonight. And we're also keeping a watch on Sue Bird's assist, and she has three, needs 11 to tie, 12 to break the all-time career record in the league. Langhorn, good at the line. And a 46-40 game. Just a minute to go before halftime. Rhea Holmes will be the halftime guest of Tabitha. Dantas with the miss. Stewart with the rebound. Jewel Lloyd kicks it out to Bird. Langhorn moves in. Rolled it off the rim. Dantas clears. Out to Clarendon, 30 seconds to go before the end of the half. Poked away by Sue Byrne, and she'll get it from Stewart for the easy one. Mental breakdown right there for the Atlanta Dream. Miscommunication on the pick and roll, and it resulted in a turnover. 48-40. Biggest lead tonight for Seattle. And there's Sue Bird with the foot foul. And she tried to slap that one away from Clarendon. That's her first foul. First down, Sue. First of the last two minutes. A little bit of grabbing on the jersey there by Sue. She knows all the tricks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what a great weekend it was. All-Star weekend in Seattle. Sue Bird. Helping post all the stars of the league. A three-pointer for Clarendon. Tried to steal it. Horn sounds. Half history. But a big bucket from Lasia Clarendon. As she nearly posted a double-double in the first half. At the break in Atlanta. Being here and thank you for Georgia's own. I'm trying to buy a house through Georgia's own right now. So I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Third quarter begins with Seattle in possession. Stewart reposting, knocked away. Five on the shot clock. Lloyd kicking it out. Stewart puts it up and a foul with two on the shot clock. It'll be on foul Sancho Little. Little. Her first. Sancho Just the fourth Sancho foul Sancho called on Atlanta first. tonight. Sancho has that look on her face where she's kind of beating herself up a little bit. Sticks. Having played in this league for 12 years now, <laughs> that's that's a rookie mistake, not a veteran move. Boy, Brianna Stewart is having a rough time at the foul line tonight. 
now one of four, has scored nine points in the game. So unusual to see a player of her caliber have a hard time. Now it comes back to knock down the second one. 49 to 43 Seattle. Just underway with our second half. Lasia Clarendon gives to Tiffany Hayes. Sancho had it popped away by Sue Bird. Now he scrambles back in the corner to cover Clarendon. Hayes putting it up. Got to that left hand and scored. Very Eight smart points for Tiffany. To pull up as she saw Brianna Stewart coming towards her. Brianna 6-4. High glass, too strong by Lloyd. Outlet to Clarendon. Nice behind the back move. Open is Sykes. Three-pointer good. That is her first three tonight, 30th of the year. And she is at 44% of her threes over the last four games. Sue Bird gets her feet set but missed the shot. Sykes runs down the rebound. Atlanta looking to push. They had an advantage there in that first half when they could push the basketball. Dream had six fast break points in that first half. Dream ball. Dream will inbound with 12 on the shot clock. I'm sure Michael Cooper told Brittany Sykes in the locker room during halftime she's got to get going the second half. She's got five points right now. Had two going into halftime. Tiffany Hayes. Finds Elizabeth Williams. This is the way the Dream started the game. Aggressively looking to score. Atlanta comes back to take the lead. Klopp's going to take a timeout. So a early timeout here with 8.07 to play in our third quarter. And Atlanta has roared back to take a one-point lead at 50 to 49. When we watch them, they're in, some of them are in college now, and knowing that we were able to set them on a trajectory to change their lives just really, uh, it, it warms our hearts. It really does. And it means so much to Atlanta. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you so much, And Bob. congratulations on being an inspiring woman tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks for the honor. Sue Bird with a pickoff. Tiffany Hayes going up. Couldn't stop the lay-in. Sue Bird with nine, and Seattle roars out of the timeout with back-to-back -back baskets. 53-50 Seattle. Tiffany Hayes, cross court to Sykes. Shot clock at five. Inside Elizabeth, has to go quickly. Now to Clarendon, beats the shot clock, puts her, swing. A dozen for Malaysia. 53-52. Lloyd, too strong. Williams the rebound. Williams. Tiffany Hayes, wide open. Clarendon, bang! Oh, that started this season off. The passion, the energy, the eyesight and focus of Tiffany Hayes to find Laysha Clarendon in the corner. The foul is going to be called on Brittany, Brittany Sykes. Sykes. I thought she got pushed into That's Stewart. You saw the same thing I saw. The ball is out of bounds. First foul on Brittany Sykes. Let's take a look at the last two Atlanta baskets. Elizabeth Williams kicking it out. Alasia from the right corner. And then moments later found the mark wide open in the opposite corner. This one tipped out of bounds. 55-53 Atlanta. 6.24 to play here in our third period. Shot clock at nine. Entry. To Lloyd, misses, rebound Clark. Stewart to Bird. Seattle resets. Langhorn tried to go high low and Elizabeth Williams tipped it away.
Elizabeth Williams. Hayes. Sue Bird fouled on the rebound as Clarendon went crashing in. Clarendon is just all over the floor tonight. I mean, I love the hustle, and I'm sure Coach Cooper will take that, that foul on Clarendon right there. She dived for the ball to try to save it. And it may have been a little bit of revenge because she got pushed down yeah. after she made the initial pass. There was no whistle. Long before Hayes is shot. Here's Bird giving to Langhorn. Sancho Little played an outstanding game tonight. Clarendon clears the sights. Brittany off the bounce. What's that? Oh. Wow. That's a big league move right there. Stewart. Langhorn, the offensive follow. No, she'll get rid of it. Bird alone for three. Elizabeth Williams behind the back to Clarendon. Here comes Atlanta. Sancho. Sue Bird with it. Four assists tonight so far for Sue. Stewart. And the foul on Elizabeth Williams. You know, the confidence that Michael Cooper has instilled in Brittany Sykes enables her to do moves like this where she can pull up on a fast break and pop and shoot the shot. She's got my rookie of the year, vote. Eleven for Brianna Stewart. Clark and Lloyd go out of the game. Mosqueda Lewis and Whitcomb come in. The first overall pick, 2016, the four-time most outstanding player and national champion at Connecticut, Brianna Stewart, 57-55. Boyette, tough shot, fouled by Stewart. Second foul on Brianna. 57-55 Atlanta with 4.33 to go in this third period, and Imani Boyette will go to the foul line. Imani Boyette stands at six foot seven, and we mentioned earlier as she knocks down that free throw, that Brianna Stewart has a wingspan of seven foot one. So when Coop is putting Boyette in the game, he's looking for a size advantage over Brianna Stewart. Fifty-eight fifty-five Atlanta. Sue Bird brings it up for the storm. Lewis in and out. Rebound Sancho. Deep in the post, Boyette, but off her fingertips. Carolyn Swords and who else has come in? Alexis Peterson. 58-55, so gets a breather. As the rookie from Syracuse comes in, last season's ACC Player of the Year by the Blue Ribbon Panel. Big time scorer with the Orange, over 23 a game. Now it's Lewis measuring and making. Galena now with nine, what a great shooter. Still the record holder for career threes in NCAA basketball, 58-57. Back down a little. Out it goes to Holmes. Tiffany Hayes, short. Boyette, tipped last by Seattle. And the dream will have it. 
shot clock at 14. Atlanta leading by one. Green trying to snap a nine-game losing streak at home. Tonight, nine overall. And uh, Seattle has won four consecutive after the coaching change. And both clubs trying to nail down a playoff spot. Of course, the dream, it would take a Herculean effort. They've got to win their last four and get plenty of help. Bob Mati Adjavon is playing with one shoe on her foot right now. Mosqueda Lewis with 11, 59, 58. And uh, Mati is going to take the timeout. And she's got to go make a pit stop and get that tire put back on. So Mati gets the shoe and she'll put it on during the timeout. Seattle has taken a one point lead. 59 to 58. Two. But they have to win tonight. And right now, Seattle's up by one. That's a travel. You know, maybe you get away with that in New Haven, Connecticut. <laughs> or in the NBA. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A shot fired. I love you, Bob. <laughs> In the NBA, it depends who it is. <laughs> That's true. Mosqueda Lewis. And it's out of bounds to, they say, Seattle. Looks like it was off of Seattle for a minute there. So Seattle will get it. 2.37 to play, third period. And before the ball was thrown in, I believe, they'll check it by replay, there was a foul called on Atlanta. So that's the question for review with 2.37 left in the third period. And they want to see if the foul was committed before the ball was thrown in. An exciting matchup, and we're slowing it down to see who pushed who. And away from the play foul. And it will be the one free throw for Lewis, giving her 12. 2.37 left, 60-58 Seattle. Entry to Peterson. Swords. Nope. Rebound Boyette. This is a crucial point in the game for Atlanta. Third quarter has not been Atlanta's friend in the second half of this season. Now the referee's coming together one more time as Holmes will be it will be a shooting uh, foul here Atlanta not Seattle rather not yet in the penalty so Bria Holmes will go to the line and after talking with Bria earlier in the half you know it's good to see her getting back in the flow of her game after sitting out last game and and having that that Achilles injury that she's been suffering from. And she has sat out the last couple of games and comes back to hit that second free throw. But one of the valuable role players on this team, Tabitha, because she gives the dream another dimension with the speed on the wings. And her size. She stands at 6'1", 6'2", and she's a wing player. And she's quick. Dream force a bad pass. And they create the turnover. 60-59. Two minutes to go, third quarter. Five of the shot clock. Holds and there's that explosiveness that we've been missing. Such a quick first step. 
Peterson. Nice drive. Quick middles for the 5'7 rookie. 62-61. It's been a well-played game. Ajavon up top. Here's Holmes driving. Crashing into two Storm players, and that's going to be an offensive foul on Bria Holmes. And right there, Holmes had Dantas in the corner where she could have kicked it. Sometimes she gets in that mode where she puts her head down and she's, she's going to the goal, which is one of the great things about Bria Holmes. And sometimes you got to learn when to pass it back out. A couple of screens. Skater Lewis gives to... The rookie would come and a miss, and here comes Matee. She did put the shoe back on, by the way. <laughs> here, here's Dantas. Nice roll by Boyette, and one. Beautiful play between Ajavon and Boyette on the pick and roll. And with Boyette's size, she just shoots and lays the ball in right over Lewis. Free throw pops out. 45 seconds, all to remain in the third period. Peterson, top of the key for two. And Boyette's up there with those long arms and that 6-7 frame. Daughter of Pam McGee, 30 seconds to go in the period. Cross court, Holmes into the corner now. Here's Tamara Young. And the dream, that's going to go out of bounds to Atlanta. 10 on the shot clock. And 24.1 left in the period. The season series is even between these two, and they've all been close battles. And no different tonight. Alicia Clark coming back in for Seattle. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Six seconds, five. But D in the paint, flicked away, and a foul on Peterson. She thought she got it cleanly and sprinted to the other end. Fouls in disbelief, two, Alexis, Alexis with her second. second. Over the limit. And now Matee Seattle is over the limit, two. so Matee Ajavon will head up to the stripe. Not only is the season series between these two teams even, the series, in general, the history of these two teams are tied at 11. So whoever wins this game tonight is going to have some bragging rights going into the 2018 season. Yeah, you know, if you don't count the playoffs. <laughs> Last year, Atlanta was able to get that win, but, uh, of course, when Seattle was rolling with the Jackson and company. The 2010 title was decided between these two franchises. Seattle winning in a sweep. Matee coming back to get the second free throw, and it's 64 62 Atlanta. 10 seconds. 9 8. Peterson driving, looking, nowhere to go. Five swords for the lay in with 2.9. Carolyn's first basket. Matee gets it up quickly from midcourt at the buzzer. And we go to the fourth quarter, tied at 64. The final 10 minutes will play out in Atlanta with Seattle and the Dream tied at 64. Really amazing for Atlanta in shooting 60% from the field. Seattle, the number two shooting team overall in the W and third best among three-point shooting teams. But not in that third. All tied as we go to the final frame. Tiffany Hayes puts Atlanta on top. She reaches double figures with 10. 66-64 Atlanta. Peterson. Clarendon. Skips her way through the lane. Back out to Hayes, not a little. Brittany Sykes 
to Elizabeth Williams. All five players touch the ball. Now Seattle comes trailing by two, and Peterson. Fake out there, and Lasia Clarendon picks up her third foul. Lasia <laughs> tried to raise her hands like it wasn't her. Lasia, you were the only one in the vicinity. I think it was you. And a look at Gary Kloppenberg on the Seattle sideline. This club has gotten hot since he took over as the head coach. Interim basis. Arskada Lewis. Sewers doesn't want to shoot it from out there. Now Stewart will drive, blocked on the baseline, and just lost it out of bounds. That's great D by Sancho. Veteran D by Sancho Little. Such an odd scheduling quirk with Seattle here to play the dream. Over at SunTrust Park, the Mariners are in town playing the Braves. Final game of a three-game series. And a three from the corner by Brittany Sykes. She has come alive in the second half. Atlanta by five. Stewart, nice cut. Foul. I guess that locker room talk actually worked. Coop to Brittany Sykes on how she needs to step up in the second half. Third foul on Elizabeth Williams and Brittany. Uh, Brianna Stewart will go to the line for Seattle. Stewart has 12 points, six rebounds, and four assists. Sue Bird comes in. Jewel Lloyd comes in. Clark is in. Swords the only bench player on the floor right now for Klopp, and it's a second free throw coming. For Stewart. Stewart finding the rhythm now at the foul line, cuts it to three. Eight and a half to play. Oh, Sykes got knocked down, no call. I don't think she slipped that badly. There was contact. Hayes out of a double team. Clarendon sets it. Misses it. Shot it short. Elizabeth Williams lost it out of bounds. After a great effort, the ball belongs to Seattle. A little bit of frustration on the dream, especially Tiffany Hayes, the look on her face. But I think the good thing about that possession was the hustle and how they stuck with it, ending with Elizabeth Williams diving on the floor to try and save the ball. Lloyd gives, and Langhorn lays it in. Seattle within a point. Hayes, a couple of crossovers, swings oh. it to Little and lays it in. Beautiful pass, Hayes to Sancho Little. This is one of Sancho Little's biggest offensive games in quite some time. She had 14 against Phoenix here. A dozen tonight, Langhorn gives it up. Clark from the corner. And Sykes hangs high to get it. Up it comes to Clarendon. Lasia to Sancho. Failing it tonight. Puts it in. 73-68. Sue Bird. And a foul in there as Stewart was getting banged around pretty good. <laughs> A foul on Brittany Sykes. It will be her second. Side out of bounds. But that is three team fouls early in the period here in Atlanta. 7.05 remaining. Seattle has very good free throw shooters on their team. The last thing you want to do is foul too much in this fourth quarter and put them on the line. Clark moves underneath. Bird. Bingo. That's a three for Sue Bird. Her second of the night gets her 12 points. Atlanta's lead is two with 640. Sykes barreling in on Clark. Gives it to Sancho. Good again. 
A season high 16 for Sancho. Bird, Stewart, too strong. Little the rebound. Boy, the Saint doing it all tonight. 6-10 to play. Tiffany Hayes, that's not going to make it. Rebound batted out, but to Sancho. Under six remaining. Atlanta by four, and we've got a timeout for Atlanta. Sancho Little. Wow. The veteran leading the dream, trying to snap this losing streak. Five fifty-four remaining. And this, I think, Tabitha, is a, the part of the game where Atlanta, if they're going to break this losing streak, they've got to find some confidence. They turn it over here out of the timeout. They've got a four-point lead. There's 540 to play. It's still anybody's ball game. But playing at home, prior to this losing streak, the Dream would have had a great shot. Can they find it in themselves as Stewart hooks at home to win this basketball game? And, Bob, that was the reason why Coach Cooper took that timeout in the first place when they had the possession down here. He wanted to calm his team down to make sure they got a good possession. Brittany Sykes misses. Stewart rebounds. Here comes Seattle. Sue Bird's pass is deflected and stolen. Good hands by the Dream, and Brittany Sykes will now bring it up. He eludes Langhorn and finally gets it over to Clarendon. Elizabeth Williams. Tipped to Clark. Clark left alone, didn't want to shoot it. Langhorn goes to Stewart and foul. Two free throws coming. And this will be Clarendon's fourth. Tavares Dantas will be coming in for Atlanta after the first free throw. And Stewart now starting to get it going. She's up to 16 points and six of nine at the foul line. She hasn't missed a free throw in this. Oh, she's missed one here in the second half. Sancho Little is going to get a breather, and as well as Sancho has played, I got to believe Coop will get her back in just as soon as possible. But in the meantime, I like the substitution of Damaris Dantas for Sancho Little because Dantas doesn't easily get rattled. 75 all. It is the seventh tie of tonight's game. Sykes. Dantas from Hayes and a block by Stewart. Damaris has to step back and drops it in. What she's in there for. She's cool and composed at all times. And at 6-3, gives Coop a little more size out there to battle Stewart. Step back from 16, shot at 15. Rebound to Dantons. Clarendon over the top to Sykes. Brittany going to the moves, but shot an air ball. Bird kicks it out on the break to Jewel Lloyd. Jewel has not scored in the second half. Stewart. Gets it back to Sue Bird quickly to Clark. She'll drive and lay it in. And again, when Seattle reversed the ball, the defense was not there. And Seattle has tied the game at 77. 20 second timeout for the Atlanta Dream. You know, Bob, that's what happens when you, you take quick shots on the offensive end these last three and a half minutes and make sure that they don't break down and commit unnecessary turnovers. Dottons. Stewart down to her knees to control the rebound. Now Seattle can take the lead. We're down to 313 and counting. Langhorn lost the dribble. 
down to get it. We got a jump. Dantas and Langhorn. Three oh four to play. Eric Kloppenberg on that Seattle bench. The tip control by Atlanta. And I believe Atlanta wants his coupon a timeout. No, he's just trying to direct traffic. It's it's a play with the same signal as a timeout. Hayes, Elizabeth Williams banging, shooting it, and Langhorn rebounding, and Tiffany Hayes with the foul against Langhorn. And a foul of frustration by Tiffany. She thought she got fouled underneath. And no call, and with Atlanta in the penalty, this will send Crystal Langhorn to the line, and Seattle with a chance to take the lead. And a 72% free throw shooter misses the first of two. Langhorn has scored 16 tonight. The veteran from the University of Maryland putting it up and in. And now, the free throw was made, but... And it will stand as we have a timeout taken. 78-77, Seattle leads by one. We have the ball, we're at two minutes and 40 seconds to play. Sykes out of a double. Lasia in and out. Oh, that three ball was so enticing from the corner. Seattle by one with the ball. Runner, no good. Dodge is the rebound. Clarendon leaking out. Sykes fumbled. Recovered. Had Stewart staring at her, so pulls it out. Pass is deflected and stolen by Langhorn. Superd cross court. Picked up by Tiffany Hayes. <laughs> Tiffany has used her dribble. Now gives to Sykes. Gets it back. A minute 50 to play in the game, and Atlanta down by one. Lasia. Outside, long bomb. Tiffany Hayes for three. <laughs> this place is loud right now. And Tiffany Hayes knocks down that over three-point shot. What a wild series of events. A turnover by the Dream replaying right now. The thing about tonight's game is at least for Atlanta, they're on their own home floor, so they've got all the momentum and energy right now. Sue Bird to the wing. Jewel Lloyd looking inside. Sue Bird went down. Timeout Seattle and Cooper can't believe it. I think he's right. She traveled first. And you can the see right mere, here. You know, the mere fact that you fall down is not an automatic travel. But the fact that you've got to have possession of the ball to call a timeout. And the... What she saying? Ignore the referee calls. Play the game. Bird gets it in. Knocked away by Sancho. Shot clock is at 10. Now Coop is saying a second should come off the clock. Ball was, Coop is saying the ball is touched and the second should have come off the clock, but the entry pass comes in. Now the clock begins. Lloyd moves in, turns, and hits! Three players go down in the lane. The, the, the Dream have the ball. Seattle has tied the game at 80. Jewel Lloyd with eight. 115 to play. 
Leisure Clarendon. Weaving in, going in on Stewart. It's an and one. Leisure Clarendon with a big basket as Stewart commits her third. Atlanta by two. <laughs> Leisure Clarendon, she uses her body so well. Just, just look at how she uses her body against Sue Bird to split these two defenders against the taller Brianna Stewart to get the M1. Leja misses the free throw. Seattle down to 62 seconds left. Lloyd hit the bucket a moment ago. They go right back to her, and she misses. Rebound, Hayes. 82-80 Atlanta, 45 seconds. High screen for Little. Now the screen for Elizabeth. Clarendon on the handoff. Sykes, top side, three, go! Brittany Sykes! Tell you what, <laughs> in this second half, her last two months, she has hit some money shots for this ball club. And Atlanta goes up by five after that three-pointer for Brittany Sykes. 14 assists now for Clark. They do it in such an amazing fashion. Clark, pass deflected. She gets it back. 30 seconds to play. Lloyd outside. Shooting. Missing. Rebound Sykes. And now Langhorn will foul Brittany Sykes to stop the clock with 20.2. And that puts Seattle in the penalty. And even though the Dream are up by five with 20 seconds left, these free throws are big for Brittany Sykes. Lewis, a great three-point shooter coming in. Rookie Whitcomb will follow as well. First one good. Big second half for Brittany Sykes. She had only two at halftime and now looks for her 15th point as Atlanta has gone up six, this to make it a three possession game. Big time. Seattle does not have a timeout. Super. Rebound Sancho, and the losing streak will be history in 10.7 seconds. Fourth foul on Stewart. You can see the smile start to pop up on the face of Elizabeth Williams, knowing that that nine-game losing streak has finally come to an end for this ball club. And after a massive win in Chicago, Seattle will fall to three under 500 at 14 and 17, but still very much in the playoff picture. Free throw good by Sancho Little. And I think, Tabitha, when we look back on this one, it will be the play of the veteran, Sancho Little, from start to finish, who is a major key in Atlanta's success. The major difference tonight. Season high, 18 points. Atlanta by nine. This game was tied a minute and a half ago. Sue Bird hits the three. Four seconds, three, and that's going to do it. Atlanta gets the win. An eight-point win for the Dream. They bust up this nine-game losing streak. 89 to 83.